Right, we've installed our Zappy charger and we are going to do a first time Zappy charge with the ID Buzz. So we're going to look at, now apparently you can see it's a nice sunny day today and we've got 50 kilowatts of solar panels on the roof. So we've installed the Zappy app and I'll probably have to go somewhere dark to show you. But the Zappy app is telling me it, it's got a meter on the, let's get in here and have a look at my phone. So basically you can see when the, we're at the yellow area on the graph, that is excess solar I'm putting back to the grid. And they're giving me like no money for that. So the plan is with the Zappy charger to take the excess solar that we're generating and rather than give it to the grid for pence, we ought to just put it in, uh, put it in the car and use the car just to take up and absorb the excess, which is fine in summer, um, but we'll worry about winter. Right then, Ben. So, so grab your Zappy charger. So this is literally the first time it's been plugged in. Now, at the moment, the does the display show us? Oh, we're going to have to have a little look. So it does show us. There's some little arrows going along there. I might not be able to get it. It's so bright. But basically, there's a little house, and it's showing me, it's showing the sun going to the house, going to the grid. So it is, and it says EV disconnected. Now, we've got it on eco mode. Again, you might not be able to see this, but eco mode leaf leaf. So this is configured to only only give the car juice when it's exporting so okay. right so put it in Ben all right let's have a look is it gonna the light the light is white oh it's flashing it's flashing is it doing some handshaking or is it not happy Ben it should, it should handshake and then go green. you're an old pro at this now already Ben thought right then. so it's saying it's saying surplus and then it's got the car so it knows it's got the car and it's got like 12 11 or oh, it's got a countdown Ben it's got right it's going eight seven six five four or is it gonna go bang so I think this is part of that Tesla preconditioning thing zero right we've clicked right it's clicking now you're green, now you're green. right and it's putting two kilowatts five kilowatts it's got 5.7 kilowatts going in now so, so we are now, oh, no, it's gone to zero kilowatts. That's gone to 0 0.1 kilowatts. Oh, he doesn't know what it's doing, Ben. Has it gone, it's gone white again. Oh, so it's not having it. Hmm, so maybe I've got to turn the preconditioning mode off. Let's have a little further in the menus. Because that countdown looked like it was expecting some preconditioning. Right. You know, fail. We failed at the first hurdle, Ben. Oh, now it's gone green again. But no, it's is it? Oh, yeah, 5.4 kilowatts. There you go. Yeah, it's gone. It's gone again. So there you go. There we go. It's going. It's going. It's going. 5.7. Right. So, it's all, so how many miles per hour have we got going in in the? Let's have a look. So, so yeah, on these electric cars, it's miles per hour is not how fast it's going. Well, it is, but it's it's more importantly how how fast it always oh, is it's power saving so on the tesla it was 17 miles an hour charges it stopped again has it stopped again yeah or the yeah yeah zero at zero zero, at zero. but we still must have surplus solar oh, five five yeah 18 miles 18 an hour. well that's already beaten what we had before ben and you've got a better range so one thing we're going to try and do is compare the Tesla charger because the Tesla charger was charging the Tesla at 40 miles an hour, but only charging Ben's car at like at sort of around this level, actually, wasn't it? It was around 17. Um, but that's all the excess we've got, I think, at the moment. So let's... Now, there is a way to charge it on fast charge, but we'll just leave it doing its thing for a minute, let it stabilise, and then we'll try it on fast charge. Right, so the Zappy has been charging the old ID buzz at 5.7 kilowatts. But Ben's found a secret button in the buzz. Let's have a look, shall we, Ben, where we can charge it. So all our problems are along and not the Tesla charger has been limiting us. It turns out we've been limiting ourselves. It's often the case in life, isn't it, Ben? It is. It is. Right, so, so power up, Ben, and let's have a look. Where's that secret yeah. setting you found? Yes. And so if your buzz is not charging, so... Let's be clear here, when you're on single phase, you should charge at about 5.7 to 7 kilowatts, right? Which will give you about 17 miles an hour. But there is a little secret setting in settings, in settings 
and it says reduce AC current. Now you don't want so when that's on. on, you're limiting yourself, yeah. right? You wanna, and it doesn't give you much explanation. When you do that, it will charge at 11 kilowatts. So let's go and see it charge at 11 kilowatts, Ben, and then we'll go into some of our zappy problems. So you're all plugged in, aren't yeah. you? So we can go continue. And we get the magic figure of dizzy heights of 36 miles an hour, don't we, Ben? Yeah. Let's have a look. Is it going to do it? Charging. So it's, it's, here we go. So how many kilowatts Four, has it got? Eight, nine. Nine, nine kilowatts. Nine. 32 miles an hour. Come on, you can ten. do it, baby. Ten. Go on. It's conditioning its batteries. It's whirring away. Ten. But we've got 34. So... We've got 34 miles an hour, 36, there it is. That's that's as high as we've got, isn't it? Um, so we're happy with 36, that's pretty good, isn't it? And we can go and try it on the Tesla charger and see if we now, now we've unlocked ourselves. So if you're charging your buzz and you're not getting full, but interestingly, when you went on the DC charger, that obviously wasn't a problem, was it, Ben? No, no, um, it Cause you were, cause it's, yeah. that clearly says AC. So yeah. when you go on the superchargers, you can get boom, loads. Right, so let's go and let's go and have a look. Right, well, let's well we're sat in the comfort of the car, but let's have a look at our app. So here's the interesting thing. So the app has got this lovely screen here. Can we focus on that ish? Ooh. Right, Ben, you take the camera. Can you? Is that? Is that? Has it got half a chance of seeing that? Yeah, that's it. That's, that's it. it. Yeah. Right. So you can click on here. Now it says we're now currently exporting to the grid, and we can click on the grid, and it will show us this. And where it goes down is where we're now. Where it goes up into the red is where we're sucking more power than we're generating because we've gone now to the dizzy heights of 11 kilowatts okay and if we go on the car we can see the rate is charging so you can see at the top here the 11.4 kilowatts so that's all good but th there's one thing that's not quite right because this this says i'm i'm exporting so right so that says and it's always stuck on this 1.3 kilowatts it says it says i'm exporting 1.3 kilowatts back to the grid but if i go on my solar edge app um this gives me the live data right and this we've proved is correct so this is saying my roof is generating 30 kilowatts okay of which my warehouse is using 10 and the car's using 11 so this is where i've got this 21 kilowatts here and it's saying I'm shipping 9.7 kilowatts back to the grid. But that that doesn't match the, the My Energy one that's telling me I'm only putting 1.3 kilowatts back to the grid. Now, this has remained at, and if you stop charging, Ben, let's see if that figure changes. So if we stop charging, so Ben's just stopped charging, that stopped, right? Now, you see that's now still showing 1.3 kilowatts okay and it's still showing we're putting it back to the grid now we should be putting back loads more to the grid now and so i'll refresh it it's still 1.3 but actually if i go back to my solar edge app you'll see now it's saying you're 31 kilowatts you're generating you're only using nine because ben's turned his charge off and we're actually exporting 23 kilowatts so there's a problem right so here's the issue we've got it looks like the Harvey, the remote sensor, isn't talking to the Zappy. Now that's fine, okay? The, the distance might be, and it might have lost communication, or there might be some other Wi-Fi devices that have come on or obscured. But why, if it's got no network, does it, it blindly talk rubbish? It's telling me on 1.3. Because what that's going to result in is it's going to result in the zappy thinking it's got energy solar energy available when it hasn't because it's but if it's if it can't hear what the harvey's saying just shut down or put lost communication or something also the other problem we've got is we cannot see there's no signal strength oh it'd be good if we could see like a signal strength chart in the i haven't been able to find one i'm not saying it's not there and i did have a a request for zappy my energy to call me back and go through some of these things before i made this video and i read they said yeah no problem raise a ticket but they never got back to me so i'm all left a bit of a tizzy now let's just go and look at the screen again and see if it's still stuck on 1.3 so we're not charging it should be exporting 20 kilowatts let's go and have a look right yeah this is stuck on 1.2 kilowatts look so it's saying 1.2 kilowatts um the car's not charging it's got that uh, 
and it's saying I'm exporting, but it hasn't got the right amount. So I'm exporting this 20 kilowatts off the mark, which is 20 kilowatts I could be shoving in the car. Now, right, let's, the interesting thing is, we have got it set on Eco++ Plus Plus mode. So if it thinks it's only exporting 1.2 kilowatts, it should only charge my car at something close to that. So let's just start the car again and see if it is regulating. Right, so we have now turned the charger on. We've put it on at the reduced, which is should be five point. So you can see this now has gone up to 4.3 kilowatts. Okay, so that is now active. But you see, this, this reading up here hasn't changed. It's stuck on, oh, let me turn that light on. That helps you, doesn't it, Ben? It's still stuck on 1.2 kilowatts, even though we're charging now at the 5.7. This is in some world of its own. 1.2 is the magic number. But it hasn't given me any warning that it's lost communication. It, it's not, let's just go and check if there's any like alarming lights on the Harvey. But it, it, this worries me because it's, it's talking rubbish. Right, so you join us back in. So the Harvey light is flashing green. Now, bear in mind I've put it on channel seven because none of the others could get reception. And the other thing they say is try putting it flat. But as far as I'm aware, there's not a problem. The Harvey's happy, the Zappy's happy, but it's talking, it's talking rubbish. Um, shall I try like disconnecting the zappy and repowering it back up again. Has it got itself in, has it got its knickers in a twist? Bear in mind, the only way you can unpower it, it's cool that it sucks the power parasitically from the clamps, but to turn it off, I guess I've got a disconnect it. It might have a capacitor. I'm gonna have to wait for it to die. Let's try that. Don't watch me do this. I'm up. Right, so Ben has suggested, well, why don't you take one off? Because at least now that's gonna, um, disconnect it from one so the zappy should show and there's actually quite a cool feature on the zappy that i wanted to show you where it shows the different current rates now whether it's just talking rubbish i don't know but i'll just show you how to look at that let's leave that and see what happens right yeah so as expected the zappy's just happily clocking away at 1.2 kilowatts but let me just show you this cool feature so if we go into let me try and do this quickly go into other settings Right then, and then go advanced. It'd be good. It'd be good if you could go up, and it would let you go up to the top from the bottom. Scroll around. It doesn't. It makes you go the long way round. Dodgy programming. Advanced password. Boop boop. Right, and then it goes to link devices, and then if you go devices, and then if you go Harvey, and then if you go readings. This is cool. So it actually shows you on phase one, two, and three what the current readings are. Now, what we're hoping is that you can see they're all different. We've got 587 there. Hopefully, when the zap is working correctly and charging, they will all be the same because I'm hoping it's going to... They sold me this thing that it's going to balance the phases. I'm sceptical and I'm getting more and more sceptical as the day goes on. But yeah, so, so this is all... So it says, as you can see, we've got a paired devices. It said the Harvey's paired. It, it doesn't say there's any problems with it. It's got a question mark here. I've got no idea what that means. Um, but it can't, if it hasn't got signal, why is it talking rubbish and just letting the charger do what it wants, go AWOL? Right, where does that leave us, Ben? We're gonna have to disconnect the rest of those CT clamps, see if we can get the thing to die, power it back. See if it dies, does it recognize it's died even? Let's have a look. Right, I'm gonna disconnect the last CT clamp. So that's all my CT clamps off now. Um, it doesn't really matter what order they go in. And let's see how long it takes this to die. Not long. That's dead already. So we'll have a cup of tea. We'll leave that five minutes. But yeah, normally the light is flashing. So there's there's not much of a way of battery backup or anything in that. That's, um, that's, that's dead straight away. Right, we'll leave him 10 minutes and then we'll come back. Oh, We'll come back, then we'll first of all check outside and see whether the zappy's gone, ah, I can't see Harvey. And then we'll power Harvey back up again and see what he, whether he comes back to life. Right, so we've had a cup of tea. The Harvey's been disconnected, completely disconnected. But look, it's happily going along in its own world with 1.2 kilowatts going, going to the grid. But you'll notice it's gone cloudy. And let's have a look at the other apps. I've got the iPad out now, so it should be easier to see. So this is saying, can you see that, Ben? 5.2 kilowatts is only being, I'm using 15. So I'm having to suck in 10 
from the grid. So we're actually charging the car now. Um, so we're putting. So this thinks we're. Um, this thinks we're doing it all for free. So I'm actually paying for the electric, but this is. I've got it in eco mode, and it acts happily just saying, "Oh, you. This is all for free, Simon." shove it in Ben's bars but actually this is costing me a fortune all right here we go if I look at the solar edge so that's the solar edge app and then if I go back to the other one look see on the app here see it's 1.3 now interestingly look can anyone explain this look that says 1.2 look right the app says 1.3 probably hard to see because it's in red but it has a bit of someone's doing some dodgy rounding up and rounding down errors or we've lost 100 watts somewhere anyway so right what we are going to do now is we're going to turn the zappy off because the harvey is obviously it thinks it's so let's turn the the zappy off and on again the best it fix in the world let's try it right so we've just powered it up it's booting up it says it's waiting for surplus now but we've got no it's not showing us a lot is it we've got an exclamation not touch screen um, so let's go to paired devices. Let's have a look if we've got any, um, let's go link devices info. Okay, it's got a Harvey, it's got a question mark, but it looks like it's still in some sort of boot up phase, doesn't it? Did you read what the red Z meant, Ben? It said a lack of um, communication. But, but obviously, hopefully it's realized now it's got a problem, which is what it should have done before. Now, if it's got a wireless transmission, what it should say is it should say, um, I'm expo I can see 10 kilowatts going out, I can see 11 kilowatts going out, the time's 12.01, I can see 10 kilowatts, I can see 10 kilowatts, the times, and it should timestamp each signal so that the device should see if it loses signals. So, right, so it's, it's now saying waiting for surplus. So I think, that's, I think that's now in a, we'll leave that two minutes, but that seems to be, waiting now until it gets some signal but it interestingly it hasn't told us it's got no harvey signal one thing ben found out there's eight eight however many fingers that is that many there's eight channels and apparently channels one two and three and four are on different frequencies channels five six seven and eight are actually the the same frequencies correspondingly i guess five is one two is you get what i'm saying but the Five, six, seven, eight are at higher powers. So that's probably why I managed to get it to pair on seven. Um, but yeah, so this is now stuck in this waiting for surplus mode. Um, so we will now go and reconnect the Harvey and see if we can get this thing working again. Now I reckon it was a on off fix again, which is slightly worrying because, you know, if you were relying on that, that would have, that would have been like that for days, presumably, Ben, it would have just stuck at 1.2 forever. Um, now, the other thing is, if there was a good bit of programming in there, if it saw it stay at 1.2 and you turn the car on and off, it would say, that's not right. I've just put 5 or 11 kilowatts of demand on it. It's had no effect on the input. It ought to have some, if this is a common fault, it ought to have some sort of checksum. But I'm telling my energy how to do their job. They will be paying me here. Right, let's go and, let's go and reconnect the Harvey. Right, we're going to try using a different channel to see if that makes any difference. I'm not sure if the, the wording they've got here is politically correct these days, but there we go. Um, it would have been better maybe to say searching for devices. I think would have been more sensitive. Right, so let's see if it can find it. Ben's just gone to get the Harvey onto channel 8 and put it in pairing mode. And let's see if it can find any devices. Right. We've tried repairing it and it was on channel seven. We've tried channel eight. Um, it was working yesterday and appeared to be working this morning. Um, so we are gonna have to go, what I'll do is when everyone's gone home, I'll uh, give it a go with the lights off in case it's not like the LED lights in the warehouse, maybe they're interfering with the radio signal. Um, but yeah, it's really difficult. Um, we haven't really got much guidance here. It's not showing you signal strength. And clearly it was in a mode where it had no signal, but it pretended it did and it got looped out. So I'm struggling. That's gonna be the end of the video today. To be continued, first Zappy user experience. It looks so good. It promised everything. It was looking brilliant. We've unlocked the van, We, but no, alas, no. Right, watch out for more.